Hi, this is Daryl Pillsbury on behalf of the Wyndham County Heat Fund. And a little background on how the Wyndham County Heat Fund was started. Richard Davis and I were watching a Red Sox game back in October 2005 when Richard said that uh, he knew a lot of people that were going to need some help because of the cuts in the heat funding. And he said, we got to do something about that. So we decided to do something about that. And we raised a little bit of money that year. We had a couple fundraisers. Raised about eleven, twelve thousand dollars. We got to help out about twenty-five families, and it just made us feel good. So uh, we did it again the next year, in two thousand and six. We raised a little bit of money again, and um, now we became a little more serious. We decided we should become a five hundred one three C, which we put in and got. So we are now a uh, tax deductible. A uh, charitable organization called the Wyndham County Heat Fund. We are in our eighth year. We have raised about two hundred and forty thousand dollars. That's in cash and in kind services, like people donating wood and things like that. And we've been able to help over seven hundred families stay warm so far. And we couldn't do it without your help. And if you'd like to help on a worthy cause, this is your neighbors, your friends, probably even family members, who. At this time of the year, getting in the holidays and the cold weather, they are going without heat. There are more people out there, folks, than you would ever imagine that have no heat in their homes as you are watching this. So if you can do anything and you can help, just know this. Every dollar that you send to the Wyndham County Heat Fund goes directly to heating a home. What we do with the money that's given to us is we call the fuel dealer that the person who needs the help, uh, if it's their fuel dealer, we will go to that fuel dealer, say we so-and-so needs some fuel, they will send their minimum delivery, which is anywhere from 125 to 150 gallons of fuel, and we pay the fuel dealer directly. So we know what the money is going for, which is heating homes, goes to heating homes. And I can tell you, we cannot do it without the generosity of all of you folks out here in Wyndham County businesses and individuals alike so if you want to be part of the Wyndham County Heat Fund for the holidays and you want to feel warm about giving and giving a gift of heat give to the Wyndham County Heat Fund by sending a tax deductible donation to Richard Davis 679 Weatherhead Hollow Road Guilford Vermont 05301 or by simply walking into the Brattleboro Savings and Loan talking to one of the tellers, telling them you'd like to uh, make a deposit into the Wyndham County Heat Fund. They know what account to put it in, and they will be more than happy to take your donation and put it in our account. And believe me, folks, as soon as we get the money, we are sending a truck out. We have a list of people. Uh, right now, we're in pretty good uh, shape, thanks to the generosity of Entergy, uh, Vermont Yankee, and their $5,000 grant. Uh, All Souls Church up there in West Brattleboro, St. Michael's Episcopal Church for their donation. Uh, the Vermont Yankee Golf Tournament also donated money directly to the Heat Fund. I'd also like to thank Bob and Bowie Fagelson. They're big supporters of ours, and um, we couldn't do it, as you know, Bob, uh, without your help. So anyway, folks, there's a lot of you out there who, who give and up the Sunrise uh, Brattleboro Sunrise Rotary. I can't thank you enough either. Every year they come through. It's usually in September, and it's usually right when we really need a lot of money. So anyway, um, on behalf of Richard Davis and myself, thank you for everybody who's given to the Wyndham County Heat Fund. Thank all of you who, who may give in the future. And um, again, have a warm and happy holiday. And you can now catch us on Facebook, believe it or not. <laughs> Thanks, Joe, for that one.